Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Julie K here with a little kind of show and tell. Um, not too long ago I did a scrapbook.com haul for you guys and I had hauled this the Spellbinders um, designer series wedding collection die cut and I did make a couple little small things with it and I just thought I would kind of just do a show and tell. It does come with five dies. So what you get in here is an envelope die, which it's it's pretty big. Um, from the longest point here, it's about six and a half. Six and a half by about seven, almost seven and three fourths, not quite. So it is a pretty big die. So for those of you guys who have smaller machines, this die might not fit in your machines. I use a Craftwell Ebosser machine, and I also have a cuddle bug. This did not, I believe, did not fit in my cuddle bug, which I didn't try it because it's a little bit longer, longer die. So it includes the envelope. It includes this little fancy frame, little insert for inside your envelope. And then it had two different embossed pieces. So the, you know, the big difference between the two pieces that's the exact same pattern is this one actually had a cut line right here. So you would use this kind of as a liner versus cutting out of your actual envelope. So when I ran it through my die cut machine, what I did is just put this piece up here so that it cuts out the little decorative edge. And so you get a little decorative cutout piece on your envelope. And this other piece then would be used more as a, a liner for or a decorative piece on the outside of your envelope. And I'll show you guys here what I mean by that. So here's just cutting out the envelope and putting it together, not doing, um, not doing anything else to it, just cutting out and putting it together. And I did glue a insert sheet inside just so that it would be decorated on the inside. I'm going to end up using this in a junk journal. So that's one way to use that die. Um, here's a little project that I did. So the, it's a black envelope that I cut out and you can see I used that decorative piece up here. And then on the front side I did use this one right here to cut out that orange piece. And then I also used the frame to cut out the little black thing and then I cut out a couple little ghosts and that was, I believe it's a memory box or else it's a poppy stamps die. I can't remember which one it is. They both have similar packaging but I use this as the little frame on that one. And so again, I used that Spellbinders die to cut this out. On the back side I had a little sticker that I just um, cut out on onto cardstock so that I would have a little stop right there. And the inside again, I did do the the little square one and the frame, and then I stamped the words "trick or treat" inside of that one. I'm start, like I said, I'm just starting to think about some some Halloween stuff projects going on, and I wanted to include a little little note with what I was working on, so I figured that was kind of a cute way to do it. So that's actually a completed one. I also did some envelopes um, where I just cut out the top again and I just layered a piece on the inside to make it make it pretty I guess so that when it's closed you can see it. And this is out of lightweight scrapbooking paper and this one was out of thick cardstock. I didn't have a problem at all with either one. In the directions you do get this little special tips here and they do so, say sometimes you need to run it through your machine twice or extra sheets of paper or extra shims and the only thing I had to do to make mine work I just like I said I ran it through once but I did have an extra piece of cardstock shim in mine and it worked perfectly I got everything out I know sometimes with the more detailed stuff some people use wax paper to get them out um, but like I said I didn't have any problems see I also let's see I have another one where I just on the front of the envelope I just use that frame on the front and the back side I just did that again and I included a little note card 
that I'll stamp some sort of set sentiment on that later on. So I made that one. I just made a plain, plain white one, which I haven't done anything on the front, but I could, again, attach like a frame to that if I wanted to. Just left that blank. And um, let's see, here's just another plain envelope that I made out of the plain one. Like I said, there was that other die that had that extra line on it on the top. So what happens then when you cut it out, so here I cut one out, is it, it does this. So then what you would do to use it is you would just cut across the bottom and you'll end up getting something like this. So then what I could do on this plain envelope that I made is I could attach it on the outside right here as a decorative element, or you could also attach it on the inside as a decorative element. You could also, if you wanted to, you know, glue it on the, glue it right inside right there as a decorative element too. So there's all sorts of options, or you could even glue it on the bottom down here or whatever. So another option for that piece there, um, I cut one out and left it a little bit longer at the bottom because I like to do junk journals and tuck spots. So I figured like if I had a page, I could just attach this at the bottom and then use it as a tuck spot. Or even in a flip book, if I wanted to include goodies, I could include like a sticker sheet or something behind that. So there's lots of different uses for that die. I'm very happy with it. Um, glad I purchased it. So I just wanted to share that information with you. And then the only other little thing I wanted to show a couple people is just some different tools that I use when I use my um, different die cuts. This one comes from Spellbinders. It's called Tool in One. And so if you look like on this one, I left a couple different, when you cut it out, sometimes your cardstock and stuff gets stuck in there. And you can just use this tool, it has a pointy end. You can use that to, to push out your cardstock. Or, which is also nice as a brush if you have a whole bunch of pieces and your actual piece is still stuck in there, like if this was still stuck in there like this. Um, I just run this over and it everything pops out so nice. So I love that tool. And then also the Cheery Lynn Company comes out with crafter tools too. And these kind of actually remind me of dental picks, like what you see at the dental, dental office. But they're pretty much kind of the same idea as the the pointy end on this one. They're just different curves and stuff. So which is kind of nice sometimes if you have a one of your die pieces stuck in inside of the die, you can actually use these to get underneath it and pull out the piece of paper. So I just wanted to show you guys a couple of those for some of the newer people that are watching my channel. Um, these tools are very helpful when it comes to die cutting. And that's all I have today for show and tell. So if you guys have any questions, please, please ask them. And thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a great day.